Ali. Hi, baby. Isn't he cute? Good morning. We are at Camp Ludacris, and I think the family is outside having breakfast at the family picnic table. Maybe. Chris trying to get her camera skills back. Um, not that I had really great ones to begin with, but um, you missed it. A moment ago, I thought I was gonna catch Aunt Lou with her sugar princess uh, um, crown on. She's taking the role quite seriously. She's going to tape some shows. That's one of the advantages us all being down here is she and I can work together a little bit more than what we're used to because we live a few hours away from each other but when we're at the campground we live a couple feet from each other um so she's going to tape that today then I'm also going to I think what I'm going to try and show you guys how to do is how to defrost your RV um refrigerator because when you just um camp on the weekends <clears throat> It's really easy to, you know, just empty out your refrigerator, let it drain and all that kind of stuff. But what do you do when you're on the road and it's starting to build up and part of your food is starting to freeze and part of it is not and it's because the you can tell that you need to defrost your RV uh, refrigerator, especially the old style ones, whenever the little metal pieces all start getting really, really frosty. So we're going to talk through how we do that because we used to do that a lot on the road and some of the things that made that a little bit easier to do. Um, I thought I'd share that. And then also a little bit of camp life. So here we go. have everything done today and I'm going to actually get to defrost my fridge so um, I thought I would show you guys how to do it relatively quickly compared to like the old-fashioned way where you just turn off your fridge or freezer and then let all the ice and stuff um, melt away so the reason why I want to defrost my camper um, freezer first of all I'm going to shut it completely off so that I'm not trying to make it cold while warming it up so the ice will melt. Um, but the reason I want to um, defrost it is because whenever there's big chunks of ice inside the freezer and or refrigerator, it doesn't cool properly. And so that means my vegetables tend to freeze and go bad faster um, in the refrigerator than it circulating some of the reasons why I have to defrost it. Um, sometimes you just have to because over time, we've been in the camper for over a month. So just in general, that's going to build up to where it might need to be defrosted. But also if you overpack your fridge, I've noticed it tends to not circulate properly. We used to have a little gadget, I think it's back there in the closet, that actually helps the air circulate. and. If we were good about not overstocking our refrigerator it probably would help but because we're trying to go to the grocery store less um, and trying to use what we have sometimes it gets a little crowded in there so that means I have to defrost more so I'm going to show you the two tips um, to do that and you're going to need two things you're going to need a towel which Ollie is currently on right now part of my mess. I've got everything disheveled right now getting prepared to take my groceries out. Ali! Hi baby! Isn't he cute? Oh wow. That's not cute. Let's go back here. And then the second thing you're going to need is a hair dryer. So we're going to take the hair dryer to speed up the ice melting process. Um, and hopefully my generator doesn't kick off. It's being very testy here lately um, with using appliances. But um, 
fingers crossed that's gonna work so now what I'm gonna do well and I'll be back here in just a few seconds um, I'm gonna get all my groceries out of my refrigerator and freezer so that I can start the thawing process so I'll be back in three two one okay so I have it going and you can see it's already starting to melt in the water dripping down I think you can see that. I'm not being a very good cameraman, woman. And then I got my towel down there. We don't want those coils to get hot. We just want things to melt. And so as soon as it starts melting, we move on to the place that isn't, um, it isn't melting. So I'll be back when it's a little bit more done. Ollie's keeping a safe distance from the hair dryer. He very much does not like it after he gets a bath. Do you all? Do you like hair dryers? Do you like them? No. Okay, so we're almost done. As you can see, we've got it almost all off of there and pieces are still falling and dripping down. And it would be tempting to leave those pieces, but I like to get it completely off of there so that there's no buildup to begin with because we want them cleaned off so that they will cool evenly. The other pieces, I need to put back my little thermometer thing over here. So it just fell out. I need to clip it back. Oh, sorry, you didn't see what I'm talking about. I need to put the little, this little thermometer back in and put it back on the blade so that it can help because it had fallen off, which that tends to happen. But it didn't really, did, nothing really got down on here except for little pieces of ice when a whole big piece like this would fall off. Sometimes the ice would fall down here, but not really any big, big deal. Okay, so I have been looking at my freezer in the meantime, and it looks like I only have just this little bit right here where maybe the door didn't fully close right at some point. So I'm gonna try to get that piece off, but the rest of the freezer looks pretty good. So I'm not going to heat up that whole freezer to try and cool it back down, because that seems like a real waste of energy. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'm just going to try and get that little chunk off after I'm done with the fridge down here. So, it looks like it's almost completely done. I did use high the whole time because um, low was not cutting it because it was so thick. Um, but now it's like the, the pieces are actually just falling off. So, I'm going to finish that and then I'm going to put all my refrigerator stuff back in after I clean it out. Ollie is cleaning up my ice. He loves ice. Thanks, alls. I meant to tell you homeschooling mamas or road schooling mamas, this is a great way to help kiddos. Hi, kiddo. She's in the background. <laughs> My kiddo's already been through this, but um, help them see uh, the process of, um, of a solid turning to a liquid. Melting. Melting, melting. Now the rest of that was deposition. The air turning into, or gas turning into solid. Fast. <laughs> Yay, science. So, <laughs> Yay, science. Well, I just opened the freezer while I was uh, finishing the fridge. And um, it warmed up enough that I could just take a knife and pull off that. But then, then I busted it all. Um, yeah. I busted it. Not, not the refrigerator. I've got ice all over the floor. Oh, oops. So, anyhow, I'm feeling really good about that. I'm going to get my refrigerator put back together, but that made about a 20 minute task out of something that would take several hours, and I would have to get coolers to put all the food in when I first started RVing. And then I figured out, I think we were in California one time. I'm like, I bet I could make that melt a little bit faster. So again, I don't heat up my blades. I don't, I try not to get them hot at all. I just heat up the ice so it drips off and melts off and most of it falls off in pieces. Um, and then get my fridge clean, get everything put back in, try to space things out so that there's more circulation 
so it doesn't, you know, freeze my vegetables. But that's that. Well, we've been a little busy at Ludacris here lately. As you know, Dad built that giant picnic table around the tree using those spools over there that we got from a local electric company that we're just gonna throw these spools away. You just don't throw things away. You can make some cool things out of them. Like for instance, this campground is filled with rocks. And so one of the ideas that we came up with was to build a long table using those spools. And so the table ends are the center of a spool and they look like this. There's one in there and the other ends behind it. And those will be table ends. We're gonna build a 10 foot long table but they have to go on something, you know, so we built some pedestals. And we just took local rocks from around the campground and we laid some piers and built these two guys. Now, if you look at them, you're thinking, wow, that's not level because one's taller than the other, right? Look at that. See how one looks a little taller than the other? But they are level as could be. And I'm really excited because I get to do another project with my father-in-law, which is really, really fun. And so he taught me how to lay block and then he taught me how to lay rock. So I get a little learning experience. Oh, and then I took a bunch of mortar and I relayed the fire pit so that you could put your foot on it and it doesn't go anywhere. And that table will be too. But for now, I gotta go fill the generator up with gas and then I gotta edit this video right here. So this is where we're gonna leave you. But also we're going to show you the new single that we put out and that is called any less my brother and it just came out on spotify this week and what you're going to hear is the acoustic version of it uh, that i put a lyric video to and it's a song that we're very very proud of and then if you want to if you would if you want to and you would go to spotify and check out the full band version of any less my brother love y'all we'll see you next week bye Sometimes being tough gets in the way Of telling your friends of the role that they play So look out kid, it's about to get real tender But ever since we became buds I've loved you like you were blood And there's something that I'll always remember That's when I told you my daddy died You stood right there by my side Shoulder to cry on And that's something I can't repay But I'll do my best every day To always be someone you can rely on And even though we don't have the same mother That don't make you any less my brother Which had Sundance and Jesus had John Someone they could cast their cares upon Hell if that ain't you and me And there ain't never gonna be a day When I ain't more than a call away To be there for anything you need Like when I told you my daddy died You stood right there by my side You gave me shoulder to cry on That's something I can repay I'll do my best every day To always be someone you can rely on And even though we don't have the same mother That don't make you any less my brother Family is so much more than a name Though ours might be different I love you just the same
Cause when I told you my daddy died You stood right there by my side And you gave me a shoulder to cry on And that's something I can't repay But I'll do my best every damn day To always be someone you can rely on And even though we don't have the same mother You couldn't tell us one from the other That's because you ain't any less My brother Subscribe and click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny enough to send us money, click the Patreon.